don't understand why they put film grain in. Mm, whatever. Yeah, that's not, maybe it's just in here. Welcome back to my Hogwarts Legacy playthrough. Um, at the top, if you enjoy this content and you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. I am getting over a cold, so I sound a little stuffy. Um, that is that. Let's see where we're going now. Whoa, Jesus. All right. Let's go to it. Potato. Nope, that's not what I wanted. There we go. All right, cool. Hello. Hi. How was your first day coming along? It's pretty good. How's your day going? Hello, Samantha. Hi, Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Yeah, well. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. I'm so humble. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Alright, get to your shit. You know what? I'm just gonna... Are you upset, little child? Old dude? Hey. Rivers Colmo right there. Cool. The goblins the goblins, in the goblin rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flack. Oh, oh. fight, fight! It's a bold attack! I... Was the Minister a Boot or the Minister a Flack? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flack. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all Potato. attention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boot and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> This kitty pet. Uh, I still can't manage to transfigure. So much personality. I love it. I love it. Jump down these whole steps. Oh. Ooh. Uh oh. Don't do it to me, game. Okay. Fuck. Winter, the time for hangnails. this painting what's going on over here oh that's cool oh. jeepers creepers that's cool too so cool What's with all the cats? But nothing happens with the pets. Hmm. Model looks a little weird. All right. Wow. Ah. Thank you. Dobby. What about well, the room, Professor? Out. I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. Hello. 
I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Mm. Isn't there? Mm. Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. Oh. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Well, thank you. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Salo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The Mending Charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor.
This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Lumos. Accio. Levioso. Protego. Lumos. Rebellion. A flying page must be around here somewhere. If only a new student would help me with my sad predicament. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no-talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone... Perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time.
I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. That's it! Very good. If you would like to practice mending Prepare. something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gulpstones. Repairer. Rebellion. One of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. It's a relief to finally have an oh, Everybody knows your potions. My little sister will be told how to do you. Revelio. Lumos. Looking for me? Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeat experience.
Oh no. Oh no. How long have I been muted? Ah, shit. Well, we'll find out um, if I've been muted, which I didn't realize. My bad. Try to make sure that I see this light here. Attributed to being sick. I was glad Professor Weasley asked wow. me to accompany you. Really? Wow. Yes, I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better be in the village. I think I'm gonna make the field of you. Right. See what this looks like. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's hour was perfect. Is that any better? We'll say this is a. Uh... I don't see. Am I seeing a difference? Continue to go to the wrong. Guess it is a difference, okay. <sighs> I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I mean... Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. This is so cool. Alright, now that's something. Now out in the world. Oh, I said view distance high. <laughs> Touch your quality high. for this time of year sure is. everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors it's too bad because like I heard <laughs> much for the cold I think I saw screenshots where it's all oh, like decorated for Christmas the cold so much but it has taken some getting used to I did not grow up around snow <coughs> fuck it I'm just not gonna mute myself sorry guys excuse me for my call oh, wait over here Rebellion. I often Rebellion. flies in this area Oh? What's so special about them? to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Ah. Rebellion. Forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. Wow. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named. Oh, we've made some crazy good distance. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. 
I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's hogs meat over the crest. Past that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. Get to a photo mode? No. Than I had thought. Well, he's, uh, okay. Well, I certainly learn a great deal in class. Much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. That's true. A little bit of life experience when it comes down to it. Huh? Oh, what's this? Mushrooms. Oh. Hello. Just tried to talk to him like How I talked to people in Red Dead. I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Yeah, well. Everything was so different and unfamiliar. Yeah, I'm getting used to things. What Think. about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle I'm here. has me to adjust quite a bit. Sure. Hogwarts has become something of a home. Hopefully, it will for you too. Thank you. You're very kind. I appreciate that you're so kind. Thank you. How's Hogsmeade going to be what I expect it to be? Can I just do this? Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hold on. Collect the mushrooms. Where? Where is he? This guy? Huh? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back. Oops, sorry, sorry. Uh, turn and run. Okay. Is everything all right, sir? He's bombed. Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did <gasps> Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Oh, oh, God. Okay. Uh, huh? Poor Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. Demi Glaze. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. Oh. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. All right. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And Abia. you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A wand. A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. <sighs> you should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. 
Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Her fucking voice is coming through my fucking thing. To J. Pippin's Pushins. Oh. oh, cool. Super cool. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Larbang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. As a... Well, Harry Pippin at your service. And this is J. It Pippin's be... Pushins. <sighs> Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm I don't know why it. it's doing You're this. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art to potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. Okay. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses and... I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Mm, let's see. Sure. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. I'll be back. Oh. Revelio. Oh, you can just open shit. Right. Well, let's get us a wand. Ooh, I can run faster. Oops. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Uh -huh. Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. 
Gary Of course. You'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. I have. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's truly. You. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Yes. Uh, no, no. No, not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm. Powerful <laughs> core. Ten and a half inches. Mm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Mm. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? Nope. Oh. <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Let's hope so. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Okay. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, mm -hmm. there you are. Green or blue? Green or blue? Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Yeah, because this has gone so well so far. Curious indeed. Where is that voice? How intriguing. Curious indeed. <laughs> Very big. Go with the old classic here. Hmm. A unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Guess I'll stick with this one. Color doesn't change really. There. Mind. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Pretty good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Indeed. Treat it well, 
and you shall find no more dependable a wand than one with a unicorn hair core. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Will do. Revelio. Just checking for things. Alright. Well, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good week. Bye.